Today we're going to remove the thermostat from a 2015 Chrysler 200. All right, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and pop off this cover. Just like so. And put that to the side. That gives us a little bit more access. And our thermostat is going to be right in here. Everything is nice and hot, so you might want to wait till this cools down. But we're going to go ahead and try to do our best. And let's see what we have to take off. All right, so I just watched the video of how to do this. We're in for a headache, guys. Uh, we're probably going to remove all this air ducting, the throttle body, this air valve, and for sure we're going to have to remove this. So let's go ahead and get started with this. You're going to need a flathead, and you're going to go ahead and push this in and pull this up. And out this comes out. And same thing with this other one. All right. Then we have three 10 millimeter bolts right here, down here, and right here. So let's go ahead and take those off. All right, and I'm gonna just use my speed ratchet to loosen this up. It's already loose. This one too. It is plastic, so that's probably why it's not too tight. Let's go ahead and reach this bottom one. That one is tight. All right, so let's go ahead and remove all these and put them in a nice safe location. There's our ground wire. And it goes to our transmission. Very important because this needs ground in order for it to operate correctly. Just guessing. All right, and up this comes. Be gentle with it. It's a little tricky at the back might need both hands and just go ahead and set this to the side that's good all right i'm not gonna second guess this work let's go ahead and take this off huh. ironically that was already kind of loose 10 mil right here brought my ryobi to work today oh yeah snaps them off like nothing let's go ahead and Save that and put that to the side. Let's go ahead and disconnect this hose from here right now. Turn that upside down. Let's go ahead and disconnect this from here. And there is a pigtail connected to it. And the bracket that goes to it. Go ahead and disconnect this pigtail. You can see the bracket in there. So let's go ahead and use a flathead. Oh, uh, look at more light down there. Do some light down there. Let's go ahead and loosen this up. Might need both hands. Uh, you get the point. Let me use both hands. All right. Now that this is loose, uh, there's also this clip here that we have to remove. Probably use the needle nose to get that out. But everything is loose. Should come off have this right here so let's go ahead and try to get that off might break it hopefully we don't just grab some needle nose and you can tell I already did it but I just grabbed it and I pulled it back out and there it is finished on clipping it and let me see this should just snap in right here make sure I'm gonna go ahead and use both hands. 
All right, so I climbed on top of the engine bay. And there it is, it's a retainer clip. So I'm gonna use my trim tool to go ahead and pull that out. Go ahead and use both hands. All right, I was actually able to get it out with a flathead from underneath and pry it up. And out it came out. Look how I'm up here. Both knees, one on the radiator, one on the battery. Son of a bitch. All right, so now let's go ahead and remove this air ducking. The air intake ducking. Let's go ahead and just set this to the side. Now we have access to our throttle body. You can actually pull this hose to get a little bit more of a view. Uh, yay me. So you have four bolts, well, two screws, two bolts, one nut actually, and the bolt underneath there's that metal bracket. This one that goes bolt on to the frame, right freaking here. And I think it's a 13 mil. We're gonna have to get that sucker out in order to get this sucker out. Yay. All right, so it looks like we're gonna be using a Torx 30. There it is. To get these out, let's go ahead and drive these out. Might need an extension for this side. And just put these in a nice safe location. What the fuck was that? No, it was my Phillips. Dang it. Well, there she goes. They're gonna see that again. Using a magnet because it's such a squeeze tight right here. My fingers are too fat. Well, now I gotta use this little extension to go fishing. You guys wanna come fishing with me? Uh, I see it. Really can't see it on the camera. A little bit. There she is. Hot <laughs> a fish. Sweet. All right, and these back bolts are 10 millimeters. So we'll go ahead and, there it is, take those off. You might have to use a swivel. I'm using a swivel right here. And you got me a, a swivel impact. Nice. So let's go ahead and take both of those off. All right, now we have to just basically reach the uh, 13 millimeter, miller bolt, 13 millimeter bolt. <laughs> That's right here. I'm touching it with my finger. Man, sorry. I am Mexican. <laughs> Some words a little difficult for me. I think it'll probably be easier if we get back up here again. Because there she is right there. Oh, the flashlight's in the way. There it is. So we have to get to that that maze of wires and hoses so let's go ahead and try to get to it all right I'm gonna try to make this as easy as possible so what I did was I disconnected this little clamp from here like so that freed this hose up this is the hose we disconnected earlier there's a little clamp right here disconnected that from there move this out of the way changing out the thermostat my neck yeah. what's that lady down here in order to yeah then we should be able to reach it easier down here. All right, so I pushed this hose back in more. I disconnected this one here to give me a little bit more room. So now I should be able to fit a socket. And anyways, so anyways, let's go ahead and get that done. So I wasn't able to do it, but I was able to do it with this ratchet wrench Jeez. 
so many other ways and I couldn't get it off, but it's coming off. Yeah, it's still tight. So I think you might need yourself a swivel bracket to make it easier. Much easier. Just go back and forth at it. All right, once you get this bolt off, and this bracket. Throw them away in the trash. You don't need that piece of shit holding us back from doing anything else. So now let's go ahead and disconnect this pigtail, a little safety latch. Go ahead and pull that back. And push down somewhere. Um, and go ahead and figure it out real quick. All right, you pull, push on this tab down and slide it out. There it is. And let's see. Oh, uh, now that we have that loose, there is one more 10 millimeter right here that's still holding this throttle body in place. So let's go ahead and remove that real quick. I am still up here for those of you that are wondering. So let's go ahead and remove that. Put this in a safe location. Don't want to lose that one. Fuck that bracket. Now this comes off just like so. And just put this to the side. This would be a perfect time to clean all this carbon buildup. But we'll just go ahead and set this to the side. Now that gives us a little bit more access to the thermostat. So let's go ahead and do the next step. All right, so the next step we're gonna do, we're gonna remove this module from here. It is gonna be a 13 millimeter socket. So let's go ahead and break these off. Break them loose first. Here's one. Here's the second one up here. And the third one is down there, hiding. So let's go ahead and take them all off. Show how I break these loose. That will little damage anything, strip anything. Impact is always the best way to get tight screws off. Now. All right, once you remove all three screws, just put them in a nice safe location. You have two big ones and a small one. There's a lot of screws here. If you don't remember where these go, I suggest you put these in little baggies. Uh, I usually find out where they go. <laughs> um, so now that that is off, this should come off loose like so, rocking back and forth, get any debris out the way. And then we'll just swing this sucker out of the way. Well, I accidentally tried to pass this in between and busted this line. It's a coolant line. Yay me, it's the one that goes to the thermostat. We will try to fix that with a Metal tie down clamp. Now that we fucked that up, let's go ahead and just move this motherfucker out of the way. Excuse my language. This is a bitch. Okay. Now we finally have access to our thermostat. So the next step we're gonna do is disconnect this hose from here. And we'll move on from there. All right, just go ahead and pinch this and move it out the way. And starting to leak. Yeah. So 
So let's go ahead and pull this hose off now. Oh, it's nice and stuck, yay. All right, so I use some channel locks to kind of break it loose and then just wiggle it back and forth. This sucker was stubborn. It was nice and stuck. So we're gonna drop a super amount of coolant. If you haven't already. Let's try to keep this much as elevated as possible that way you don't drain the radiator um, everything's coming out of the block right here then we have to remove this 10 this 10 this 10 on the other side and there's another one so let's go ahead and start off with removing the safety clip that down and it should come up. Might need both hands. Once you disconnect this, let's go ahead and push that to the side. Then we'll try to remove these 10 millimeter bolts. All right, so here comes the first bolt. And make a little bit of room. Keep that right there. Now we're gonna reach for the other one. And I went ahead and removed this one here. All I did was uh, push here with a flathead. And it came loose. Whoops. Hopefully we don't have to replace the whole line. I'm gonna try to cut this and fit it into here. Pipe it down, see if it works. All right, these next bolts are gonna be a 5 16 Kind of a hassle to get to. All right, so I had to use an extension and a swivel to get to it. Really can't see it because it's such a tight ass fit, but there it is. Stupid shit's in the way. There's all kinds of shit in the way. But there it is. Try to break that sucker out. It's already loose. Just gotta drive it out. All right, there it is. Second one is out. This is by far the hardest thermostat I've ever had to change, and it's right there. Jesus Christ! Look at all this stuff I took it off. My goodness, and I still can't get it off. So there's still two more bolts we gotta remove. And good luck trying to get it in between all of this. There's that one right there, and then the one on the other side. Yeah. All right, and here is the third one, right in between all these wire harnessed. And there it is, loose, and I just gotta remove the screw. All right, guys, I went a little rogue on you guys. I'm, I'm trying to figure this out. So I disconnected this coolant line hose from here. Here it is, this one right here. And I tucked it underneath to give me more access. But still, I still can't reach that damn last screw. Um, so what I did was remove the little latches from this hose that goes onto the uh, thermostat using two little flatheads <clears throat> and it's coming out a little bit and I just gotta pull it out and make sure I don't drop it because then I'm screwed all right and here it is use the needle nose to grab it so I don't drop it let's go ahead and put it in there Now we'll be able to remove this hose from here and pull this out from here and up and over. Now we have 
with some more access uh, and hopefully we can reach that dang screw I don't know it's a pretty pretty tight fit so we'll see if we have a little bit more access now to get that screw out of there all right so I'm using my other phone my primary phone um, to kind of see where that damn screw is at and check it out man that motherfucker is like right behind everything check it out let's get a little bit closer let's see there's that metal abrasive thing that's in the way right next to that pipe so <laughs> try to get to that and you got it off I'm not sure if this is gonna work but the little brace that's right here I'm trying to push it down with a big old flathead. Push it down. And I'm gonna see if maybe that's hopefully enough room to get that socket in. All right, after so many tries, I think I finally got it. Uh, this last one, the corner one, is actually a 10 millimeter. This one's a 10. This one and the other corner are five, six, I believe I said yeah 516 <laughs> I don't know why Dodge would do such a thing um, I had to tap it that little coupler like this and turn it with the dead blow then I was able to turn the hose and I was actually turning it by pressing down on it like this and hitting it should be a little gap mm -hmm. kind of like this the one I was showing you and I was able to turn the whole hose that gave me a little bit more clearance um, I got this mirror to kind of help me out because you cannot see a damn thing in there and with this you can see not really on the camera but you can see where it's located well, you kind of see the socket and there it is getting it and it's getting it out finally uh, one thing I had to move out the way was this line right here Let me zoom out a little bit Oops. this line right here was attached right here it's connected that to give me a little bit more access I uh, undid this to move this one to give me a little bit more access and now I'm taking this off <laughs> and hopefully the screw didn't come off or the socket but there it is so we're gonna go ahead and continue taking that off all right so there it is I took off the screw fortunately it fell off I'll go fishing for it after I get this sucker out. But there it is. It is officially out. And that is how you remove that piece of shit thermostat. If you have to do this, I suggest you pay someone to do it. Sorry, man. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. Alright, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.